the core values are integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Those are the, the three principles that guide every decision I make, everything I do, both on and off duty. Everything hinges on your integrity, on your character, on who you are. RTC is a combination of academics and, and what we call leadership laboratory. So you have to enroll in both a class and the leadership laboratory to get credit, to be a full-time cadet. Uh, anyone can take the class, even someone who's not interested in being in the Air Force or being a cadet at all, and many do. In fact, if you take all four years of the classes, you end up with an aerospace studies minor, whether you're a cadet or not. It's a great opportunity, I think, for, for a student who's not interested in actually serving in the military to learn something about what the, what the Air Force does and what we do for the nation. In order to, uh, to be a cadet, so you have to be a full-time student, uh, a citizen, uh, or pursuing citizen status. The way ROTC is designed, it's quite different than the Air Force Academy. So the Air Force Academy is uh, highly competitive. It's as competitive as, uh, as an Ivy League institution to get into. ROTC is a little bit different. It's designed for, uh, to allow people to explore the idea of uh, joining the military when they graduate. So uh, because of that, the, uh, you know, the requirements to get into are not as difficult, I would say. So uh, with ROTC, you have two years to try the program out. So the, the way ROTC is designed, it's, you know, quite often it's for people who don't come from a military background like myself. I took the class. Uh, and then I met, you know, I met the cadets, and right there I was kind of hooked, where you know, I'm around people who are like myself, people who are interested in something you know, more than just going to college, so pursuing something you know, greater than themselves. Uh, and these are people who are you know, high quality people, people of high character, people that mo are motivating each other. So I see that, I see these people waking up in the early morning to go do physical training, you know, uh, doing uh, study sessions on their own, holding each other accountable, and then the next thing you know, you, you have a career waiting for you when you graduate. When I graduate, I do want to make the Air Force a career. I want to be a nurse in the Air Force and hopefully move on to being a flight nurse. I was initially interested in the ROTC program here after one of my nursing professors came in during summer orientation and talked about how she was actually a nurse in the Air Force. Balancing my coursework with ROTC and extracurriculars is not that hard. The workouts are at 6.30 in the morning, so it doesn't really interrupt your class schedule. I do keep a pretty detailed planner just so that I can remember everything that I have to do, but other people don't and they still manage perfectly fine. After your first semester in the program, you'll start to get more leadership opportunities. This program has really benefited me as a leader just because before this I literally could not talk in front of a class. Giving speeches was a pretty painful, painful thing for me to do, so after I joined, you're kind of just forced into a leadership role and you're forced to just speak in front of people commanding them, so I've definitely gotten a lot better with leadership. I would definitely tell a student that was interested in joining, but unsure about it still, that they should definitely try it out. Um, first semester, you don't have to commit. You can just see what it's like, because even if I hadn't continued with it, it still would have made an impact on my life. It definitely changes how you think and changes how you act. And I think it's an experience that's worth having.